Gracers and any friends um, watching. Um, you'll have to forgive the videography, I, if that's what this is called. Um, my first time to try to do this myself. Usually Danny, Pastor, aka Pastor Dan, does the devotional, but he had asked me if I would do the devotional for Friday. So, um, just wanted to share with you, oh, and in case you don't know me, uh, you're just a friend tuning in, uh, you may hear South in the Mouth. Um, I am from South Georgia, so, uh, so I do have a bit of an accent, so I hope that won't make a problem for your hearing. Um, anyway, so the Lord has been drawing me a lot to, um, sorry, I'm having to look down at my notes, to Second Chronicles 7, verse 13 and 14. I want to read it to you from the English Standard Version. Verse 14 is probably really familiar to you like it's been to me, um, but verse 13 was not as familiar, so I want to read both. When I shut up the heavens so that there is no rain, or command the locusts to devour the land, or send pestilence among my people, if my people who are called by my name humble themselves and pray, and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. So um, many of you may um, on I've seen it on Facebook quite a bit, this scripture and folks posting uh, from or reposting different things about the scripture and about verse 13. When I shut up the heavens so that there's no rain, some folks are saying, I wonder if that's, you know, right now could be referring to the fires in Australia that started the end of uh, 2019, went into the first of um 2020 and that's when the rain came in January and the rains stopped um, then the uh, about command the locusts to devour the land some folks have been wondering and saying perhaps that's talking about um, the locusts that are swarming in um, East Africa uh, and I tried to find more information I don't think that stopped yet the swarming of the locusts uh, which they have from time to time, but it is pretty bad right now. And that started the 1st of 2020. And then the pestilence among my people being the coronavirus that, you know, is is uh, what we're dealing with now and throughout the world. So I've really been pondering that a lot. But if we just left there, we'd probably feel a little hopeless. I'm looking down at verse 14. If my people, though, who are called by my name, humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. So four things he's telling us to do. And he's saying my people. So he's talking to the Christians, not the folks that don't know him yet, um, the ones that are not Christ followers yet, but us, the Christ followers, saying for us to humble ourselves. And that's kind of what I want to just concentrate on for a second. Um, that's what I've been asking in the last week or so. How is it that I humble myself? Um, what is it that you want me to do, Father, is what I've been asking. So I just thought that perhaps I could challenge um, Xenia Gracers and, and anyone else uh, listening to just in the next days be asking um, the Lord, what does it mean for you to humble yourself? That's the first step and what he's asking us so that our land can be healed. Um, so let me just um, pray here, and then um, I may leave a couple prayer requests with you if there's time. Father, I thank you that you are always with us, and that even in these times that are so unusual and have caused anxiety and uncertainty, that you are there. And that, Lord, even though to us it looks like things are out of control, you are in control. And Lord, there are just so many things um, daily I'm, I'm seeing and knowing that is God moving. So many miraculous things, just even in the way that you're using um, social media to spread the word of you in ways that we perhaps as Christ followers were not doing as much before um, this quote-unquote pan, pandemic. 
and I thank you, Father, um, that you are in control and that you are taking care of us and that you are Jehovah Rapha, our great healer. And so we are asking for healing for our land, Lord, and asking you to show us how to humble ourselves. We just ask this in the blessed name of Jesus. Amen. So thanks um, for tuning in and um, come Monday, uh, there'll be a devotional at nine o'clock and um, just continue to to seek the Lord and to look for things daily that God's doing. Bless you.